Hi, friends. I'm joined by Cam and Dan Pass, both um, from our 4 p.m. congregation, uh, both brothers. Uh, Cam, let's start with you. You're the older brother. Uh, can yep. you share with us a particular childhood memory uh, between you and Dan growing up? Sure. So plenty of backyard footy was uh, a lot of what we did to play, and that was great fun, me being the older brother, a little bit bigger, usually men I could dominate, which I enjoyed that a lot. Um, when things sort of got a bit out of my control, I didn't like that. And there was one time where Dan seemed to be getting the better of me, almost about to score a try. And I ended up having to take a last resort, a uh, bit of a dirty play, push him into the garden. And it actually ended up with him landing on a besser block, a big block on his back, um, causing a lot of pain and tears. So didn't feel too good about that after that. Yeah, Dan, how's the, uh, how's the recovery on that one? Yeah, look, it did cause me a bit of grief for a few years, my back, playing tennis, but it's good now, and I forgive him. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> definitely it, one, one of the only times I got the better of him. And, yeah, I was dirty. I didn't get the try in the end. I, I think I kind of knocked it on. So I think we gave it a penalty <laughs> try. Yeah. I think we got that. <laughs> good, good, good. Now, uh, let's talk a bit more seriously about the dynamic between you guys. Dan, can you share something that you appreciate about Cam? Yeah, sure. I've just really noticed his like servant heart a lot more in the last few years. Just um, yeah, the way he just doesn't just goes about his business, you know, um, serving music at church for like a long time, and that's a big time time commitment. And then seeing him as a dad with Reggie, and just he's always willing to help people. He's just such a helper, like with um, investment properties with people, or just I shouldn't be advertising this maybe, but yeah, he's just a good helper with different things for people. Very selfless. Yeah. Yeah. I 100% agree. I've been on the receiving end of Cam's generosity many times. Uh, Cam, uh, tell us something that you appreciate about Dan. Yeah, something I love uh, and appreciate about him is uh, I was particularly encouraged in a little bit of a period of his life where there was a few uh, relationships that were maybe not going so smoothly. And what was so encouraging and what I appreciated was his desire to really seek um, his relationship with God first, his heaven, heavenly father first and foremost, and let that be a, um, a source of um, energy and um, yeah, encouragement for his other relationships. And that, just to see that as a priority was so encouraging. Mm, that's beautiful to hear. Yeah. Uh, Dan, um, we've heard the story of Cain and Abel and, and in a sense, the failure of one brother to protect the other. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's actually a time where you can remember where Cam stood up for you. Can you share with that? Share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. On the footy field, uh, yeah, things got a bit heated. Um, just you know, mixed um, messages for, from the other team, anyway. And a guy was eventually ended up on the floor. Um, and then, yeah, he was very aggressive and angry with me. And um, Cameron came in, not rushed into fight, but just rushed into disarm and make sure I was okay and alerted the ref to the issue and yeah I got up and I was like wow he really was looking out for me and he's often yeah quite protective of me in a nice way even with the team when they're sort of maybe ridiculing me for what I've done he's there to defend or stand up and, or understand and empathize and try to explain that to the team because he's one of the leaders of the team so he's able to sort of have that voice which is nice to defend me and someone understands so it's nice. Oh, thanks so much for sharing a beautiful story of how uh, your brother has, has looked out for you and uh, in many ways given us a, a beautiful picture of the way that uh, Jesus has transformed both of you guys and in a sense given us that example of a better Cain and a better Abel.